So as an IT instructor, one of the biggest questions I always get is, what internet browser should I use? Well, in reality, any of them are actually pretty good, but obviously that's not the answer you were looking for. You want a de facto, which one should I download and use for the rest of my life? Obviously, I'm using Google Chrome right now, but if you remember in the last video, I popped up and used Internet Explorer for just a hair. Well, the website I typically use to just see, uh, I typically uh, develop websites, so I have all of them on my background, but I go to something called HTML5Test.com reason being is as soon as I take a look at that website it's actually going to tell me how good my browser is Google Chrome by itself uh, from uh, this computer at Cape Fear Community College scores a 501 out of 555 possible points now if you're a little bit more in interested in the kind of web development side of things you can actually see all the different things that Google Chrome has to offer and what it does work with and what it does not work with. Maybe you're like, oh, well, I don't use Google Chrome, I use Firefox or Opera or whatever you use. You notice that this site actually has something called other browsers. And if I take a look at that, you can see I actually get a slew of what the best, best browser is right now. And it'll give me a ranking of each one. For example, Google Chrome's version 39 is 500 versus something like Internet Explorer 11, 336. So it is a little bit, you know, which one you want to use. And so you can see here's actually the current rankings of all the most popular browsers. I'm not saying you need to pick one uh, based on this, but as you can see, there is a clear difference between something like Google Chrome and Internet Explorer 11.